So today I'm going to show you the process of removing the front engine mount on a 2003 through 2007 Honda Accord 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder. This mount, motor mount, right in front. Um, first thing that I did to get some clearance was remove this uh, reservoir and you just unscrew this. Um, if you have fluid in there, I, I'm doing another job right now, so I don't actually have any fluid in there. Um, doesn't make a difference. This comes off, gets out of the way. Then there's a bolt down here, 10 millimeter head. And this just slides right on out. Then you're going to want to remove this bolt. Just hold some cables in place. 10 millimeter. Disconnect the map sensor. And this just kind of dangles here. <clears throat> it's a lot easier to have this out of the way um, when you're trying to pull out the motor mount. The next thing, I tried to do it without doing this because I really didn't want to have to drain the coolant. <clears throat> but I wasn't able to. So I had to remove this hose here. Um, the smart way to do it would be use this opportunity to drain your your coolant <clears throat> and replace your coolant and your you've got your thermostat housing and your thermostat right in here so you, this is what this connects to so that would be the ideal situation you're changing that as at the same time um, I wasn't doing that I tried to avoid taking this off and it didn't really work so I ended up pulling this off made a huge mess this slides out easily undo this um, and then this whole piece comes off it's got a rag here close go ahead and give this a pull and stuff it in just like that and you see that I'm draining out because I didn't do it the smart way but it's already a mess so <clears throat> I've already replaced this I'm just I'm just showing you the steps I actually recorded all of this and lost the video Unfortunately, take your jack and put a piece of wood to straddle across the the oil pan and the transmission and go ahead and crank that engine up. So just barely slightly, uh, get it to get it to touch and then lift it just a little bit. Uh, so you've got two 17 millimeter bolts. Use an extension and probably a breaker bar to get that undone and this little anchor across the top comes out and then you've got four bolts on each of the corners which are 14, 14 millimeter one on each corner they're a bit difficult to get to uh, you'll need an extension probably multiple I ended up using uh, I think all of mine to get to get reach on those. <clears throat> um, once you loosen all of those bolts, there's also another bolt right here that is a 14 millimeter. That one comes out, you've got that thing completely free. Crank the jack up just enough to be able to wiggle this piece out. Um, and then you should be able to maneuver this thing up and out through here. Uh, you want to wiggle the new one back in, get it in place, uh, put these four bolts in place around the outside, and then you'll drop the engine down on top on top of the mount, put this last bolt in, then you'll put this, uh, this little arch on there with those two 17 millimeter nuts. Um, now your motor, your, your mount's in place, um, and it's just a matter of putting everything back together. So you can put the uh, this hose back in place, and then connect your map sensor back in. Reinstall the coolant reservoir.
and you'll need to obviously top off your coolant whatever you lost if you drained it completely then go through that cycle and that's it you've got your brand new motor mount in place one thing I forgot to mention is that at the bottom of this mount there's a little nipple has a tube connecting to it and I, I don't know what it's for I assume it's for a sensor of some sort pressure sensor probably um, so you need to remove that obviously prior to removing this mount and then push that back in place once you've got the mount installed. Um, it may be easier to put the mount in place, not bolt anything down, uh, and then install that or uh, push that tube back on uh, and then bolt everything down. I think I did it once it was already bolted and I was able to do it with some needle, needle nose pliers. Um, but I had to, you have to reach, you have to get underneath the vehicle to do that. So that was a little bit, uh, a little bit challenging, but definitely not impossible.